Ladies and gentlemen, this is the captain. We have turned on the passenger seatbelt sign in preparation for our descent and landing into O'Hare. We will be landing in 18 minutes. The temperature is 40 degrees. If you're interested, you can look at the right side of your aircraft and see the Chicago skyline in the distance. Hey, do you mind if I uh, take a look out the window? I guess not. Okay. I don't really see anything except for clouds. Wait! Right there. The John Hancock building. It doesn't look like that when you're close, up close to it, does it? Are you pretty much done? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, your your deodorant was clashing with mine. <laughs> so, uh, how about them beers? Remember the plane, trains, and automobiles with John Candy and Steve Martin were in the hotel? <laughs> Never mind. So do you do a lot of flying in your uh, line of work? Uh, a fair bit. It's just, you seem so quiet and so busy with work. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I get some done. I try to stay busy reading, but uh, can't seem to keep concentrated on it. <coughs> well, you know, the novelty of flying wears off. I think it's more anxiety than a novelty. Well, I mean, there's nothing to be scared about. Plane travel is very safe. I mean, it, it's safer than driving in a car. You have a better chance of being hit by a car than dying in a plane crash. I got hit by a car when I was seven. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> sense of humor, too. <laughs> gotta do something to keep the butterflies from catching up with me. Uh, I'll tell you what, my name's Dan Schwinn. Um, Mike, Mike Tracy. Well, I guess everyone has to deal with butterflies in different ways. Like, see that guy? He, uh, he's had five drinks in Philadelphia, at least. And then, you know, I remember the, there was this one guy, he crossed his legs, closed his eyes, and rocked and hummed the entire trip, and that, that's how he go. And then some people pray. Pray? Yeah, like, like you, before. You saw me praying. I assumed you were doing more than scratching your eyebrows, yeah? Oh, you mean when I got my food when I ate it? Did it work? What? Did your food become edible? <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't understand. I, I was saying thanks. Okay. Well, that, that's a nice sentiment. I'm kind of a skeptic. I used to, I used to think that way too, but I don't really. I know where you're coming. I mean, well, I know where you're coming from. I mean, I, I used to believe when I was growing up. You know? Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, private school. I mean, that, that's what had me believing. I guess you know you're, you're taught that growing up. But I guess the, the problem was when you grow up, it doesn't really wash with the real world. You know? Maybe you just gave up. The only thing that's helped me succeed is hard work. Quick wit and lots of luck. So you've never needed any help with anything. <coughs> okay, if I screw up my life with my problem, so God doesn't run my life. I do, so I have to clean up the mess. I guess that's your fault. What was that? Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, this is the captain. We've discovered that we have an engine failure, and we're taking all possible precautions. The plane is perfectly capable of flight with one engine. We do anticipate a normal landing. Uh, was this ever your flight I got into a fight with my wife. What? <laughs> I got into a fight with my wife before, before the flight. Ladies and gentlemen, we have requested ex expedious handling from the tower. We should be landing in 10 minutes. I don't want to die with my wife mad at me. <laughs> I'm sure we're okay. My, my, my son just got into preschool, 
and, and I always wanted to be the father I never have, and now I want the chance. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, man. What are you doing? One in. How can you teach this? Eject! Eject! We're breaking up! I can know we're breaking up! We're breaking up! Good news. We've been able to restart the failed engine, so we're back on two engines. We still have priority landing at O'Hare, so please remain in your seats and we'll be touching down in a few minutes. Sorry for the inconvenience, but everything is fine now.